Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Padre. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, guys, have the best class setups, top five weapons you could be using right now in Cold War after Season 6. So before we begin, drop a like, subscribe, comment down below what you guys want to see next, and I got you, bro. You already know what it is. So, create a class. Here we go. We're going to start off with the bad boy, AK-47. Best AR you could use right now. I will be running through these setups a little fast, because it is five of them, and I don't want to be boring you guys. So let's go ahead and get started with the wild card, which is the gunfighter, so we can use all the attachments of the AK-47. Now, for the perks, I won't be explaining what they do, because if you play the game, you already know what they actually do. So go ahead and copy those. Stim shot, Semtex, and Field Mic. Now, this class setup is not for rushing, guys. Remember, it's mostly for staying back, controlling sight, and it's a good gun for distance range. Secondary, I always run the Diamati. Here are the attachments. I am using this variant, but go ahead and run them. They're still pretty good, even if you don't have this variant, bro. Now, here comes the bad boy, AK-47. We're using the muzzle brake, the first one, bro. There is no cons to it. Arrow Liberator, I want this one because I want my bullets to hit the target faster and travel faster. Body, Tiger Team Spotlight, pretty much what I use on my uh, ARs, pretty much. On the barrel, we are using the Bruiser Grip. Now, it does, you know, not control recoil, but don't worry. If you guys don't know how to control recoil, run the KGB instead. Run the KGB for sure, while using the Bruiser. For the magazine, I really like the 50 round uh, fast mag. Reason why is because 50 rounds, bro, like, sheesh. And then you can reload fast, bro. Easy. Grew Elastic Wrap for your handle, and your stock spent as PKM stock. Alright, we got the little sister, man. We got little comrade. That's my variant. Don't really matter, though. I did change up some stuff. You can see. I did change them up. So for this one, we got the perk greed. Flat jacket, tactical mask, assassin, gearhead, ninja, and gun hose. So you can see, it's an aggressive class setup. Stim shot, Semtex, trophy system. Can't get any more sweatier than that. I am using the Diamati, of course. Different variant, though. Uh, Barrel's always going to be the task force, for sure, though. Go ahead and copy that. So like I said, this is a more uh, aggressive uh, kind of class, so go ahead and push objectives more with this one. I am using the muzzle brake, the basic one, bro. Like I said, I can control recoil, but if you can't, run the KGB all the time. If you can control recoil, muzzle brake. Trust me, bro. No cons. Now for my barrel, I am using a uh, rifle instead of task force. Reason why is because I am going to have to control uh, recoil a little bit more, so I want to go ahead and run the rifle. It's still pretty good. Uh, a lot of league players use this, and I kind of like it, bro. For the under barrel, we are using the patrol grip, no cons, just pros. Handles, we're using the serpent rep, and our stock, PKM stock. So those two off the bat, bro, AK-47 and 74 u run it up, bro. KSP, man, this is an interesting one. So I've been having a lot of fun with it now for some reason. I don't know what it is, so I want you guys to run it too. So this one, we are using Gunfighter for a wild card, Flyjack, SS, and Ninja, Stimshot, Semtex, and a Gas Mine instead. A trophy system for this one i am using the 1911 pistol run these class setups right here muzzle brake reforce heavy steady aim laser magazine fast mag and no airborne elastic all right let's go with the ksp optic i do like the microflex led it looks way cleaner on this gun and it's easier to see enemies muzzle brake a lot of people are going to be questioning me like why are you using muzzle brake on all your guns but like i said bro if you can control recoil, this one's the one because there's no cons to it. If you use a SOCOM, look at the cons. Horizontal recoil control and shooting move speed. That's the only con, but I don't I don't like doing all that crap, you know? So that's why I always run the muzzle brake. Task force. This one you would for sure want to run task force instead of rifle. This one would do way more damage if you use task force. Steady aim laser, pretty much what I use for my uh, SMGs. The barrel, field agent. Now look, it does help you now. It helps you with the recoil control so run that one 40 round fast mag on this one airborne elastic wrap and the raider stock go ahead and run that bro tell me what you think coming up we have the oh my gosh look at this class setup right here guys it's super good but it's also super annoying because how many people use it so for this one we're going to run the gunfighter for the tech 9 black jacket assassin and ninja the ro really rushy and aggressive class guys because it's a super good gun Stimshot, Semtex, Trophy System, and we are using, fortunately, the Marshals. Now, if you do have Dragon's Breath and the Extended Barrel and Dual Wields, run that. I don't have Dual Wields. That's the only thing I'm missing, but run it. All right, here we go with the Tech 9, bro. So, I do not use Optic, but I kind of like the Iron Sights on it. The Muzzle, we're obviously using the Full Auto Repeaters. That way, we can have an automatic uh, SMG. Barrel, Task Force, what makes it overpowered. Steady Aim Laser. 
We are using the bruiser grip. I like this one a lot because it makes me move faster. The magazine I am using, the 39 round. Uh, the reason I don't use the last one is because of the cons. Like I said, uh, the aim down side time. I want to be really aggressive, and this one's only minus 15%. Serpent wrap. And the SAS combat stock. This class setup, it's so overpowered. And last but not least, we got the MP5, man. I feel like y'all sleeping on the MP5. So we're in the gunfighter perk. Flat jacket, scavenger, and gun hole. Stim shot, Semtex trophy system. 1911, I am using a midnight variant, but like I said, you don't have to use that. Sound suppressor. Reinforced heavy. Steady aim laser. 12 round. And the serpent wrap. Alright, let's get started, man. Last one, fellas. We got the sound suppressor for our muzzle. We want to be quiet off the minimap. For the barrel, we are using the task force barrel on this one, but don't worry. Steady aim laser. Field agent grip. That's why I said don't worry because you'll be able to control recoil a little bit more with this. Magazine, we are using the last one. 40 round fast mag. Handle, serpent grip. And the stock, SES combat stock. The reason why is because it's SMG. Reason why is because it's an SMG and we are going to be rushing fast. And the Raider stock, the only thing that happens is that the hit fire accuracy is minus 30. And this one is only minus 15. So those are the top 5 class setups you should be using right now, bro, on Season 6. If they do it on nerfing stuff, I will make an updated class video. But if they don't, run it, bro. If you guys want to see more videos like this, man, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.